The Yellow Jacket Refrigeration System Analyzer displays a chart of pressure over time, which comes in handy for viewing real-time activity in the system. I'm going to walk through different conditions you might encounter on the job, so you can see how beneficial the charted pressures are in servicing equipment. In this setup, the analyzer is connected to a normal running R410A split system with expansion valve. Notice the superheat and subcooling values. The chart time is set to the two second option, so it's showing the last four minutes of pressure activity. You can see that the pressures have been stable during that time. It's good practice to allow the system readings to stabilize before making decisions to add charge, remove charge, or adjust the expansion valve. The pressure charts on the analyzer allow you to see with a single glance the stability of the system pressures. One example of system instability is thermal expansion valve hunting. In this setup, we've reduced the airflow on the R410A split system evaporator to the point where the expansion valve can no longer control the superheat. This can be seen by watching the superheat value rise and fall, or by the fluctuation on the low side pressure chart. The pressure charts on the analyzer are also very useful for setting and checking pressure controls. In this setup, the analyzer is connected to an R409A commercial refrigeration unit. The refrigeration unit has been intentionally taken to high pressure cutout. Notice that the cutout point is indicated on the pressure chart by the drop in the high side pressure graph. By pressing hold and moving the cursor with the up left or down right keys, we can see the exact reading of the high pressure cutout point. On the same refrigeration unit, the pressure graphs on the analyzer can help check the low pressure control settings. In this setup, we cycle the low pressure controls on and off by controlling the flow of liquid refrigerant to the evaporator. Notice that the cutout and cut in points are indicated on the pressure chart by the rapid rise or fall in the low side pressure graph. By pressing hold and moving the cursor with the up left and down right keys, we can see exactly where the low pressure control is cutting out and back in.